Hi and welcome to another one of our Boat How To Ask the Expert videos on Boat Electrics. I'm Jan Attenstedt. And I'm Nigel Calder. And today we will talk about a fundamental topic in marine electrics. We look at the two main factors that determine the required size of the conductors on your boat. Voltage drop and ampacity. People mix these up quite often, so let's look at them in more detail. So Nigel, what does ampacity mean? Well, ampacity is the maximum number of amps you can put through a conductor. Um, but it's fairly complicated because you've got a piece of copper of a given size and then you wrap some insulation around it and the insulation has a melting point. And the higher the melting point of the insulation, the more amps you can put through that same piece of copper, so we're not changing the copper, uh, before the insulation melts. And the ampacity tells us how many amps we can put through before the insulation melts. So we have within the tables, we have 60 C insulation and off the top of my head, I can't remember what mm -hmm. Fahrenheit is. We have 75, we have 90, we have 105, we go all the way to 200. Um, commonly in the boat building world, we have anything from 60 C to 105. And if you look at the ampacity for a given piece of copper between 60 degree insulation and 105, you'll discover that you can put almost twice as many amps mm -hmm. through that same piece of copper mm -hmm. with the 105 insulation. Yeah, so just because it can get hotter without any problem. Well, so then, so then we've got to look at other issues because if the conductor itself is installed in a hot environment like an engine room, mm -hmm. we've already preheated it before we put any amps through it. Mm -hmm. So then we have to derate it for being in that hot environment. And then if we bundle it up with other conductors, uh, they might be hot mm -hmm. and they transmit heat to it, so then it's de we derate it for bundling. Um, so we, we've got all of these different factors we have to take into account. Uh, the one thing we don't have to worry about is length. Mm -hmm. Because the longer the conductor, the more its surface area, the more it can dissipate mm -hmm. heat. So from an ampacity perspective, we don't care about length. Yeah. Which is totally different when we get to voltage drop, because that's mm -hmm. all about length. Well, that's what we get to, yes. to about right. now. Yeah. But first of all, if you want to learn about these tables, for example, we have all of them uh, for download at boathowto.com. Uh, so you have the ABYC and the ISO tables. Um, but let's... Well, you know, uh, our, that wire size app that mm -hmm. you developed mm -hmm. me on, uh, is in my opinion, it's the best uh, wire sizing app in the mm -hmm. marketplace. It's really easy to use, but it's very comprehensive. Yeah. Uh, you can plug in all of these um, different factors mm -hmm. and it'll spit out. And what's, what I really enjoy about it is that you can, you can change one of the factors and just keep on changing it until the conductor size. Mm -hmm. Uh, changes and then you can see the thresholds mm -hmm. between uh, different conductors and how close you are to a threshold mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and I don't think there's another uh, wire sizing app that you can do that not that I know of anyway uh, well thanks the app that he was talking about is actually the wire sizer that we have at boathowto.com so you can also check that out um, because this actually makes it way easier and you don't have to go through all the cables and do all the math yourself yeah. um, so we have a little tutorial on how to use it and uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, but now let's talk about the other factor about the, the uh, voltage, voltage drop. drop. Yeah, so uh, voltage drop is very much an issue of length because it doesn't matter, uh, all copper has low resistance, that's why we use it, but mm -hmm. it's got some resistance. So the longer a conductor, the more the cumulative resistance. Mm -hmm. And resistance basically robs the circuit of voltage. If you've got a battery that's 12.6 volts at one end of the circuit, and uh, we've got like a 10% volt drop through the conductors, mm -hmm. we're going to get, we're going to lose 1.26 mm -hmm. volts in the conductors. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you put a voltmeter on your positive battery post and you stuck it on the positive connection to the load mm -hmm. and you turned it on, you'd get a small voltage reading. Mm -hmm. And that's the voltage drop. Yeah. So the longer the conductor, the more the voltage drop. Mm -hmm. And so, why is that a problem? <laughs> well, because uh, the more the voltage drop, the more you rob the uh, device at the other end of performance. Uh, and in some, if it's an electric motor and the voltage goes too low, it may pull more amps and fry itself. If it's a light, it may not work. So uh, within the standards for the DC circuits, we, uh, we allow a maximum 10% volt drop. Mm -hmm. and that includes both the negative and, and uh, positive sides of the circuit. So if you've got a 12.6 
volt battery, you can lose 1.26 volts mm -hmm. in the conductors mm -hmm. uh, and the switches and the fuses and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, for circuits where we're really worried about performance, mm -hmm. uh, we try to drop it down to 3%. But mm -hmm. you physically need almost four times as much copper mm -hmm. to go from 10% voltage drop to 3%. So it's expensive mm -hmm. to wire a boat to a 3% volt drop. Yeah. And then in uh, AC circuits, uh, we typically keep it down to 5%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, but there you also have much higher voltages. So right. it's actually, um, well, because that's another, another thing. The higher voltage you have, the lower your, uh, your voltage drop, right? In a well, there, there's a, in the States, there's something called mm -hmm. the National Electrical mm -hmm. Code. Mm -hmm. And uh, they limit voltage drop mm -hmm. in most circuits to 5%. Mm -hmm. Although I've been in many a house where um, where you're furthest away from mm -hmm. the meter yeah. and you check the voltage drop, it's, it's over 5%. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but but um, from a standards perspective and AC yeah. circuits, we should limit it to 5%. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, if you want to know how to size your cables, check out our wire sizer at boathowto.com. And of course, also uh, check out our courses because there we talk in a lot more detail about all this. And um, yeah, I would say um, thanks a lot, Nigel, and uh, see you guys soon.